You want to say good morning? Sit. Sit. Oh, what a good girl. Down. What a good girl. Up. Can I have a paw? Good girl. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. I'm getting so big. Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be vlogging today. It is just Stella and I. Dad's at work, isn't he? Huh? Yeah. Did you already finish your treat? She is doing so great, you guys. I'm so excited to be vlogging today and give you guys some updates. We've had our six days now, so tomorrow will... Well, actually, today actually is a week. Um, like, tonight. Tonight will be a week that we've had her, which is crazy. I can't believe how fast time flies and how big she's getting. Um, but she just woke up from her morning nap and I just got done editing today's video and Yeah, we're trying to get her into a bit more of a routine um, So she like gets up we go for a walk we eat breakfast we play she naps um, She's drinking water. Yeah, she's doing so good um, So the last three nights she has slept through the night in the crate, which is amazing. She is a rock star um so that's pretty good and she's getting a bit more independent when it comes to like playing and stuff like she'll kind of like play on her own she doesn't need us which is good because i want to encourage her to be as independent as possible um but she still naps a lot but i wanted to vlog today just because today's gonna be a fun day it's gonna be a very productive little like sunday reset sunday vlog i just love sunday vlogs so we're gonna have a fun little day just try and get as much done as we yesterday was the first day we left the house um both of us at the same time left her here we left her in her crate for about an hour and she was good. She had no accidents or anything. Um, so I'm going to do the same today. I'm going to leave for about an hour and just get a few errands done because I haven't really left the house much. Like yesterday was the first time I left the house besides work since we got her and all I did was get a coffee. So I have some errands to run today. So we're going to go do that. But I'm really excited to bring you guys along. Happy Sunday. And today's just gonna be a great day. I'm so excited. Finishing up my coffee. Um, she's been consistently getting up around six, I'd say, is kind of like her wake up time. But that's fair because she goes to bed around 10. So um, that's that. But she's such a smart little pup. I already picked up pretty much on like sit, down, and paw. She's such a good pup. But it's currently 8:10. So let's make a to do list for the day and get the day going. It's not too too much just still like I say catching up on stuff but I want to tidy up the downstairs hi ma'am we don't eat couches that is not nice thank you so much for putting that down anyone is at all interested the house is like somewhat back to normal we had to kind of like baby proof so we had to take like the books out of there and then the books out of here i think i'm gonna try and get some containers today maybe to put under there her favorite toy is our thing no matter how many times we put it back in come on she's very easily redistracted which is good but she's finally starting to play on her bed which is nice um this is kind of like her playpen area um She's allowed to be out with us when we ask her to, but when she's kind of like unintended and, you know, like I'm working or something, she does go in her playpen, um, but she's getting used to it. Um, I'll show you guys the big crate upstairs, but <laughs> hi. Are you being a good girl? On top, we have like all her extra toys. They say to only um, give them a few toys and like rotate through them, so we do. And of course, our favorite treats. These are some local Ottawa treats. Um, they're awesome. They're her favorite by far. Um, I'll leave the link down below if you guys are interested in checking them out. But her favorite, all natural. Um, we just stocked up on like four bags. But yeah, she seems to love her bed. These are her kind of main toys right now. She's got Monkey, 
Um, she loves this champagne rosé bottle I got her. And then I think her all-time favorite toy, her Mickey and Minnie rope toy. Um, and then we got her a Nyla bone to chew on, which is in her crate, which helps a lot with her, like, anxiety. So, what a good girl. Hey. Alrighty guys, I'm feeling good now that I got some cleaning done, but I don't, I don't really have a plan for the day. I just have so much I want to do that it's like, I don't even know where to start or where to go. So I'm trying to think. I have some like um, kitchen reorganization that I'm waiting for some stuff to come in to do. Um, so I was going to do that today in this vlog, but I didn't get it all. So I'm going to wait. Um, so I th and then maybe go to Farm Boy. Um, and then maybe we'll see what else. But I just want to leave for like maybe an hour and a half yesterday she had an hour and she was fine and realistically she can hold her bladder for hold her bladder for three hours so um she's already done number two this morning um so i think yeah the plan is to go to marshall's and farm boy or we'll see kind of where we end up i would really like to go to walmart as well but i don't know if all that's gonna happen today um I guess we'll just see where the day takes us. I'll show you guys this before I left. I got a package from Poetic, which you guys know I just worked with. Um, they're a super great, like reusable, eco-friendly brand in Canada. I love them. And I really wanted a new lunch bag because the one I have from Amazon is so cute, but now everyone has it. And this one is from Recycled Paper, which you can probably tell it has that look, but it's like this blush pink brand is so young. This, it says big sweeping life changes boiled down to small everyday decisions. It is made from washable paper that is PVC, BPA, lead, and phthalate free, which is awesome. So it looks like this. It's super cute. I have a discount code. And then Bird, so sweet. I love, love, love their company so much. And then it has like just some, like, some compartments, which is awesome. So I want to show you guys that. I'm super excited about that um, a little reusable lunch bag. I did because you guys know I work with Vitae for their activewear but they actually came out with some swimwear and they sent me some to try on so I'm gonna do like a little bikini try on haul for you guys because you guys love that. How cute. Also I love this packaging how to get a bikini body get a bikini and put your body in it. Love it so much. So okay guys Stella is taking a nap so I figured it would be the perfect time to just show you guys these super quick not sponsored. You guys just know that I work with them and you guys like bikini hauls so i'm gonna insert this for you guys i'm super excited about all the pieces that they first thing so i'm gonna show you guys all of them first and then we'll try them all on see what we think so the first one they sent me is this gorgeous red one piece i will have my discount code for you guys down below if you guys are interested in shopping any of these thank you so much to everyone who used my discount code to shop their new activewear launch it meant the world to me because i can see who uses my discount code and it literally meant the world to me so thank you guys so much this red and i love how it has like this like white detailing on it and then it's like plus plus strappy we love that the sides are like really strappy i'm really excited to try this on and see how it fits but it's just like super cute it's kind of like a little sexy i love this one i love the color of it it's a lot more highlighter it's coming up a little more muted on camera um but it is very highlightery so this is the top looks like i like that they're like plain but not so this is the bikini top it's just like you know a little triangle bikini but the back is so gorgeous and like strappy like a sports bra so cute and this is what they look like they have like a little tie on the front i'll have to tie it up it came undone but they have like a little tie they look pretty cheeky but we'll see super cute little bottom this is the same one but it's not so this is just kind of like the orange one but a little bit different so it's black like i said triangle has this little cut out here which we love and once again the back is like super strappy which i think is so cute it's just like a fun way to like dress up a plain bikini and then they sent me the bottoms for these ones which are a little different i really love these bottoms i think they're really like a black bottom they have the string there again and they have like kind of like a little cut out on the side so so these are the white bottoms that they sent me um that's the back i hope this is the back because this is looking very cheeky but this one has like kind of like a little ribbing here this one's so cute it has a little cut out favorite top so cute i think white just looks so good when you're tan so this is what it looks like it kind of has like a sports bra look which you guys know i love right now so it's just this like sports bra vibe with little buttons here i'm really excited to try this one on and then the last one they sent me is oh this is the softest one and probably the stretchiest um, I love this material. So I love how they all have ties on them. So this one is so soft, you guys. And I love the color. So this one is definitely a high-waisted one compared to the other ones, which you guys know I love. So cute. It just sits really cute. And this one has a tie on it. It fits. Cup bathing suits tend to not fit me because I have big boobs. Um, but I really hope this one ties. So it's just like a cup bikini like this. 
and then the back has like all this I can't really show you guys it's so white on it so let's try them on see how they fit and I'll report back the first one it's super cute um definitely not the most supportive in the gal area if you have bigger boobs so i wouldn't think you could like frolic in a beach on it but i think it's cute the back is like super cute i'm detailing on it the side is also super cute with this little here it's definitely like very flattering i think it like really sucks me in but the only thing is yeah there's just not a ton of support on boob area honestly and there's like some pretty decent so probably size up in this one i could but you could either size up or if you have smaller boobs, I think it might be better because like they're gonna jiggle a lot. But it's super cute. This would look really cute with some jeans. Like but like bathing suit bottoms that don't have a lot of give and like elastic like the polka dot. And these just don't like I'm gonna be super honest with you guys. They're like really they're just like really coming in on my stomach and i just don't like that they're definitely a low waist bottom and i just that's not flattering on me look like it's just not flattering on my body type but they're definitely really cute i just prefer a bottom that's like kind of flexible that i can hike up and these i just can't but otherwise the top is super cute the back is so the back is super cute on this one i really really love it like you could definitely size up like two on the bottoms just because i find them a little, a little cheeky um but i really like the top of this one for sure but the bottoms if you want them to be more comfortable i would size up probably two sizes had i sized up in all the tops i could have probably sized up in an extra extra large in this a little bow on the bottom okay so i love the back on this one i think the back on this one is super super gorgeous um the bottoms on these are a little more forgiving than the last one they have like a little bow again on here and i'll overall i actually really really like this one i think this is probably the most flattering one so far on me um but i do like really like this one um i don't always love bathing suits that have things like this just because i do have fat here so like it can stick out but i actually really really like this one i think this one's really flattering i really like the top it's very supportive you can kind of hike up the most if you're like me and you like high-waisted look so i do like this one a lot um i like the top on this one there's a lot of coverage on this one i really like it and then the back is just kind of like nice and plain but I really, really... Guys, this is my favorite one. This is definitely the best material. These are the, like the most high-waisted ones. I love the material. I wish they all had this material. So, so soft. The only thing is that with a bigger boob, it's really hard to do underwire because you guys probably can't... You can tell a little bit my boob kind of sticks out. But I love this one so much. It's definitely my favorite. Um, I definitely think it's the most flattering. And I like the fabric on this one. So... I love it. Anyways, I am going to head downstairs and get the day going, but I hope you guys enjoyed that little try out haul segment. I just got my coffee. So excited. I figured out to get a cold brew just because I was just in the mood to treat myself today. It's been, it's been a long week, honestly. So I just got a cold brew with a dash of almond milk. And now we're kind of like in the complex. I'm going to stop at a few stores and just pick up a few things I need at each. I'm gonna go look. This is so random, but everyone is drinking their iced coffee out of like those beer can tumblers like Lauren Doan. And I can't find them anywhere in Canada. I know that Crate and Barrel has them, but they're like $6 each. So I'm gonna go to Walmart and see if they have any. If they don't, I just need to get some bigger masters for iced coffee. We just have like two very in-between sizes, which you guys can tell. We have like the small one and then we have a huge one. I just want like a normal size mason jar for iced coffee. So I'm going to do that and maybe just pick up a few little things. I need to get like oat milk and stuff. Walmart and when we get home, I'll show you guys everything we get, obviously. But yeah, I also need to get like razor blades and really random stuff. So let's do this. Get it all done before it rains. Let's do it. You didn't have any accidents. Okay, you wanna go play outside? Come see mama. Hi, Bob. Let's go. Hi, Bob's. Come get me.
grocery slash Walmart haul for you guys. So I went to Farm Boy first, picked up obviously our cookie pepperoni. We haven't had this in a while. It's a nice treat. So I just get the big pack of that. Um, not sure why I was just craving some pico de gallo. So I bought some and then so weird. I literally ate pineapple for the first time like last week and it was so good. So I got some pineapple. I don't normally buy it like this, but I just didn't want a lot and then I just got a salad kit because I'm working from home this week a lot so I just got that I love me a southwest salad I like to add like chicken to it and then um, they just have some bread on clearance and we don't really have any like sandwich bread in the house so I just got this Italian sesame loaf it was 30% off so I was like well, why not oh do you want to be part of the grocery haul oh what a good girl do you think mama has a treat in her hand because I don't I'm so sorry do you want a treat Come get a treat. What's that? Sit. <laughs> Down. Down. Good girl. So, you guys obviously knew. I got her a baby Yoda stuffed animal. I got this from Walmart before we continue the haul. Do you love baby Yoda? Oh, okay, we love Kicking Horse Coffee um, so much, and I didn't realize they had cold brew, which is awesome, so I just picked it up. You guys know we like to try different cold brews, so I got this one. I love the names of their coffee. They're so funny, so I just got two of the Smart Ass, uh, and then I got this dressing because it looks kind of good. It's a savory dill yogurt dressing, um, so I'm going to try that out, and then at Walmart, this is what I went for. You guys know these kinds of glasses are like all the rage right now, these can glasses, and I haven't been able to find them anywhere in Canada except for Crane Barrel, but... I just so happened to walk, come across them at Walmart. So I got a four pack. I think it was like 10 bucks for iced coffee. I love them so much, you guys. So I got those. I just had to refill my razor blades. I use the Flamingo razors. So I got that. Just got some new pens because I got a new planner. I'm not going to show you guys too in-depth because I'm going to do a separate video on it. But um, guys, I found a day designer in Canada and I'm very excited about it. So I just got this one. Um, do you think you're eating a treat? You already got a treat. Oh, good sit, good girl. Want it? Go get it. <laughs> oh, there you go. Figure it out. Is it good? She keeps like running with it. How's that ice cube? Guys, this is the little thing we got on Amazon. I can link it for you guys. I just love how like plain and simple it is. It also came with some little magnets and the little dry erase thing. But it has a lot of space, which we like, and just good to like write stuff down. We also got one of these on Amazon, um, just because with the both of us working. I mean, right now someone's pretty much always home with her, but just to keep track of feeding her, so we got that. Our calendar for the week so obviously wfh means work from home matt's days matt's nights nights and we both have next weekend off so maybe we'll try and bring you to the cottage you want to go to cottage she is so cute she's like super independent but she also just like when i'm home loves to be by my feet hey eh? hey eh, bubs Breaking my fast, having a little breakfast. Um, doesn't really look appetizing, but I think it's gonna be good. I have um, just some lemon water, and then two pieces of toast with some pineapple, and then I kind of made like a deconstructed breakfast sandwich. Um, so I have some ham, which has ketchup on it, and then some brie and an egg. So that's my little breakfast, my little Sunday brunch. Gonna have that, hang with Stella, and then we'll chat. Two, I just took Stella out for a little bathroom break. Just checking stuff off my to-do list. I figured we could open some Amazon packages while she plays with her bone. Anyone is wondering, I'm redoing the spice jars. I'm just waiting for some labels to come in the mail, but we're gonna redo them, which is exciting. And then I'm just gonna like do some kitchen organization. So I got some stuff for that. And then I also just got some new um, soap dispensers. So they just look like this. They're supposed to be like little mason jars. It's a two pack for like 10 bucks. I love Amazon, so we're gonna do that because our soap dispenser doesn't work really great, but let's open this. 
three-tiered organizer for the spice jars and to get one at Marshall's because they're super cheap but they don't have clear ones and I really wanted clear ones so I got this on Amazon for like $11 so let's just make sure it fits in the cabinets but that's what I got not very exciting and then I'm going to probably let's actually fill this up and see what they look like this is also if you're wondering this is the dish soap we use it's this one a lot of the natural ones don't bubble up so this is the one we use a lavender and eucalyptus dispenser it's cute but it just the nozzle doesn't work great so we are going to Alrighty guys. Oh, I think it looks so cute. I just want to make sure it works. Somebody just woke up from a nap, but I think she's going to fall back asleep. It's such a rainy afternoon outside. We've just been napping, honestly. <laughs> hey, we just been napping. Are you going to find a new spot where I can't annoy you? Yeah. Okay, good night. Today lunch is super random. I'm just not super hungry, but I'm having some of that pico de gallo I bought today with some of these veggie crisps from Costco. They're just the Harvest Kale and Chickpea ones with a few slices of smoked Tavardi. So pretty simple little lunch. I'm just not super hungry. Holy cow, it's already 3.30. Sit. Girl, do you want Baby Yoda? Mmm. Cute she is. Please tell me someone got that reference. <laughs> She's been loving him. So every time we give her a new toy, we take away toys. So I took away her monkey just because they say they only have a few toys going at once. That way you can rotate them. And it always seems like there's something new to them. But she just wants to sit at my feet today. <laughs> Are you walking to the kitchen because you want your dinner? Is that what you want? <laughs> you want dinner? Okay, we can do that. So she gets fed three times a day a third cup of uh, coconut oil in her dinner. Um, just in her dinner though, just because coconut oil is pretty high in fat, even if it's healthy fat. And it's really good for the coat and mane. You can do your research. <laughs> do you want your dinner? Come on. Come on. She's finally getting to the, come on. And we feed her in her playpen so she gets used to it, but yeah, that's her dinner. Deli, you want to say bye to the vlog? Say bye, vlog. Bye. <laughs> Editing the vlog right now and realizing it's getting so long. So I'm going to go ahead and end it off right here for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this nice Sunday vlog. We got a lot done. I hope you guys have a great week whenever you're watching this. And give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Comment down below. It helps my channel out so much. Helps me grow. Helps other people see me. I would really appreciate a sweet comment. Subscribe if you're not already because guys, we're less than 500 subscribers away from 12k, which is crazy. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!